you will learn how to make these tangy and delicious lemon bars in just a few simple steps. The first thing you're going to need is an 8 inch pan that's 20 centimeters and some parchment paper or aluminum foil. I prefer parchment paper because you don't have to grease it and it's just an easier way to clean up, but you can use aluminum foil just as well. Just make sure you spray your oil at first. And to put the parchment paper into the pan, all I do is turn it upside down and then just kind of mold it in place. And then I just press it into the pan itself. I don't go to all the trouble of making it a perfect square or cutting it, but if you really wanted to, you could do that. You can also trim off the excess if you like, but I leave it as it is. Once you have prepared your pan, you're going to set it aside and then get a bowl of softened butter. You want a half a cup or 113 grams. To that, we're going to add in some sugar. We're going to add in one third cup of sugar or 56 grams. And then we are going to mix that together until it's nice and smooth and creamy and it looks like this. Finally, we're going to add in one and a quarter cups of flour. That's 168 grams. And we're going to stir this together until it starts to resemble breadcrumbs. You do not want to overmix this. Just have it come up to the breadcrumb consistency. That just makes it easier to put it into the pan. Once it looks like this, where it comes together easily but falls out of your hand, you're ready to go on to the next step, which is putting it into the pan and spreading it out evenly and pressing it down. Now try to get an even layer as you can, and you can use your hands to press it down, but if you don't want to use your hands, you can use the back of a spoon. However, I just found it's easier to use the, your hands as long as, of course, they are clean. Once you get this pressed down, you're going to chill it in your refrigerator for 20 minutes or until firm. While that is chilling, preheat your oven to 350 or 180 degrees Celsius. And you're going to bake this anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes or until the edges are just lightly golden brown. You don't need to bake it very long because it's going to go back into the oven with the lemon filling. Next, you're going to need two medium lemons, 116 grams roughly. A strainer is helpful. A juicer is wonderful. But if you don't have one, you can use your hand and you want a grater or a box grater to zest the lemon. Now, when it comes to zesting a lemon, I like to hold it by the points and then just carefully zest until I get a pale yellow. Don't go to where it gets white because if it gets white, it will become bitter. If it does happen to you, don't worry. Just move along and just try not to do it next time. Now, instead of zesting this all over the cutting board and then leaving some behind inevitably because it just tends to cling to the cutting board, I like to grate this directly into the sugar. That's three quarters of a cup that we're going to use or 150 grams. Now lemon bars are supposed to be tart, but if you don't like them that tart, you can go ahead and up that sugar another quarter cup or 50 grams. When you are finished zesting your lemons, use the back of a spoon to get the lemon zest off of the grater. Do not use your fingers. You will grate yourself. I've done it myself today and it hurts. Trust me. Here is your lemon sugar. It's really beautiful. I just mixed it up and that just helps break up that lemon really well. Now we are going to juice it and if you roll the lemons with your hand, it will just help it juice a lot easier, especially if you're going to squeeze these by hand. You want to cut them in half carefully. Be really careful when you cut circular items. You're more likely to cut yourself, so just take your time here. And we are just going to squeeze these lemons until they are nicely juiced and move on to the next step. Two lemons will give you about a third of a cup or 80 milliliters worth of juice. In case that you don't have fresh lemons, you can use the juice from the jar. It's not gonna be the exact same, but it's gonna be pretty close and it tastes okay. So yes, you can use lemon juice from a jar. It's just going to be a little less fresh tasting. Now you just want to pour the juice into the strainer to strain out any seeds that didn't get caught by your juicer. In a large bowl, we are going to whisk together two eggs. That's 100 grams. And you don't want to overmix this. You just want to get it to where it's scrambled. It will look like this. Now we're going to add in our lemon sugar. And then we're going to add in two tablespoons of flour. That's 19 grams. We're going to pour in all that lemon juice that we squeezed out earlier. And we are just going to mix this until it's combined and it's going to be a very runny mixture. If you would let this sit for a while, a foam will develop and that is from the undissolved sugar. And actually what happens as it's baking, that foam does separate and you'll get this nice crusty layer on top of your lemon bars. You'll see it in the end. 
So be careful on this next step because your pan is still warm. You want to go ahead and use some oven mitts to move your pan back into place. And see how the foam has already just started to create. Just in the little bit of time that I moved that shortbread, it's going to be a nice contrast when it bakes. Make sure to put your oven mitts back on before you move this because your pan is still warm where you bake that shortbread. You're going to bake this for 15 to 20 minutes or until it doesn't jiggle in the middle. Some browning on the edges and in the center is possible. It's not a big deal and the reason why is because you put powdered sugar on it in the end. Once it's cooled down to room temperature you want to chill it for several hours about two to three and then you are going to remove it from your pan and you're going to sprinkle the top with some powdered sugar. And all that does is just hide the top where it's not as pretty. I'm going to use a tablespoon's worth, a little bit less actually, but that's about eight grams. If you wanted to, you could completely use it all, but you don't have to. You don't want to put the powdered sugar on while it's chilling because if you do, it just kind of melts into the bars. And then you're just going to cut it and if you wanted to, you could cut off the edges and no one would see those, but I personally think the edges taste really good. And when you're cutting this, don't use a butter knife like I'm doing. I use a butter knife because I'm prone to cutting myself. Look at that wonderful lemon filling. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Now we'll see how our taste testers enjoy this. Maggie and Raymond are a big fan of lemon and so is Jackson, here he comes. Just give him a little bit. He's a little guy, so he doesn't need a lot. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Here are your ingredients if you want to follow along. Thank you for visiting us at jacksonsjob.com and as always, happy baking.